I wanna sing cause it doesn't say you love you and I don't. Hey, I'm live. Okay. Hey guys, it is Margaret and Happy New Year. Welcome to 2018. So, starting off the new year, I thought I would share with you my 25 worst sales of 2017. The reason I want to look back at these 2017 worst sales ever is so that we know going forward what not to pick up or maybe there were some errors in listings that needed to be taken care of. So those are all things that you definitely want to take a look at when you're moving forward, especially into a new year, because you don't want to repeat your mistakes. And that being said, um, a sale's a sale, so I'm always happy for anything that's sold, but definitely wanting to sell things that are a higher ticket price. So I wanted to share with you my 25 plus, I have a few extra, 25 plus worst sales of 2017. Hello, I am live. Thanks so much for coming. And if you're catching this later, hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you're notified when I go live so you catch all the live streams and the fun that we have going along. I hope you guys were all safe and your heads are not pounding too badly from yesterday's festivities. We stayed in. I don't even think we watched. We watched a movie. What did the kids watch? I don't know. The kids watched something. We made jello and stuff. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> fun times. So here we go. Hello, happy new year, everybody. All right, I'm going to jump over and we'll start with the best of the worst, I guess. We're counting down to the worst of the worst, basically. All right, so this was, okay, there were so many problems with this that kept it, one, it, it, it took forever to sell. It was one of the first things I listed probably three, four years ago. Um, you can see I took a picture on the carpet. I mean, everything that could be wrong with this listing is wrong with this listing. Um, it was an old, like, recipe book. It was one of my grandmother's recipe books. Hang on, let me find my spreadsheet down here so I can tell you all the details, all the gory details of it. Hello, Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you so much for, for coming in. I'm going to have to move the chat up in just a second. Okay, so this, I mean, one, there were so many problems with this listing. I never went back and refreshed it, so that's definitely something to look at in the new year is uh, do some of your listings, do some of my listings, need refreshing. Maybe, maybe. So this did finally sell for $9.99, which is awesome, you know, for this, this, but if you take into account, oh, it's been up for uh, like four years or something like that, maybe, maybe not so awesome after all. Um, so that was one sale. Now, a few of these things, um, there might be a couple things that I have to talk about with just words because eBay, they roll off after a certain amount of time, you know, so I won't have images to share. Now, this one didn't sell on Etsy. This was an eBay sale, but like I say, some of the things have rolled off of eBay. So it didn't sell for $17.99. It ended up selling for nine bucks. Uh, I bought it for a dollar. So it was still a fair profit, um, but after all, I'm just looking at the lowest of the low, so it was meh, and I think it took kind of a while to sell as well. Hello, Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you, thank you. You're jello. Did you make the cookies? No, we're making those cookies today, though. <laughs> we are making cookies. I've decided. I, yeah, I wanted the cookies. Okay, so, I mean, I know this right here says $17.99, but I, it, I took a best offer on eBay on it, so it was $9. I mean, it was still a good, like, probably $5 profit. But, yeah, we're, we're wanting more than that, aren't we? When, when I say we, I mean me. All right, next up, this is now out of order. What happened? I had these in order, and of course, now they're out of order. Oh, I bet it's over here. Here it is. Hamburglar. So this one, this is a recent sale. These were some um, playing cards that sold for $8.99. And, and while I may have picked them up for just a few maybe a dollar or less, uh, maybe a quarter. I mean, so it's still like a $5 profit, but maybe it's not something I want to waste my time on in the new year, picking up things that, it's like if I can spend the time to, to make more money, I, I want to do that. Again, I'm still happy for anything I get, so I know I'm a bit of a Pollyanna when it comes to stuff like that, but hey, five bucks, right? You know what I can get at the grocery store for five bucks? Eggs and stuff, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so next up, I usually, or I used to really enjoy picking up children's vintage, vintage children's books to resell, um, but some are pretty good sellers, some end up sitting for a while, so I don't pick them up really anymore, unless there's something just outstanding that I just couldn't bear leaving behind. Um, so these blue ribbon puppies, uh, picked it up for a quarter and it sold for $8.99, so 
eh, you know. This is another one. It's sold on eBay, but I had to show my Etsy listing because it had rolled off. Anyway, 15 below there. This Oh, gosh, staying inside. Yes, that's cold. Hang on. Let me scoot the chat up some so we can see. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Here we go. Keeping on. So, some of the things I may not be picking up. So certain kinds of playing cards, maybe certain vintage children's books. The next item is, let me make sure I'm in order. Okay, right here are these, oh, is it gone now? Oh, snap, something went wrong. Refresh, can we refresh the page? These Love Dare cards. Now, when I bought these, I thought it was something else. I was like, ooh, Love Dare, you know, something naughty. And it turned out, no, they were like, no. I think they were like Christian devotional cards for build, rebuilding your marriage or something like that. So, <laughs> go have fun, boys. Have fun. They're going to fly a little remote control airplane with their daddy. Bye. Um, okay, so yeah, these were not exactly what I thought they were. I have a feeling that <laughs> if they were um, what I thought they were, they might have been gone for more money. But I picked them up for a buck, and they sold for $8.79. So, I mean, still, you know, $5 profit, but, meh. Hang on. Let me scoot that over a teeny bit. There we go. Um, yeah, so things like this, I'm like, oh, I probably could have just tossed that back in the redonate pile. But I had already taken the picture, so, meh, why not? Let's just get it listed. So, there was that. Next up, let's see. Again. Oh, yay, I'm sure it's sold on, on merch. Yay, finally, sales have been... Ooh. Okay, so the next item, I don't have an image of it. I can, I can just talk about it. The next thing was a Tinkerbell keychain. And it was like one of... It had like a little ball bearing on it. I don't know. Um, but it sold for $8.79 as well. So still picked it up for a quarter, probably a $5 profit or so. Uh, you know, I guess it was easy to list, right? So apologies again. Some of these things, they... I don't have images for them on Etsy if they sold on eBay, if they weren't vintage or something. So most things I can cross post, but some I cannot. So I usually really like selling these fabric panels, but and, I, and it's cats, right? But for whatever reason, these sat for a long time. I paid a buck ninety nine for the panel and then ended up taking an offer on eBay for eight dollars and fifty cents. So even after that, it's like three or four dollar profit. So I was really kind of bummed out because normally cut and sew, fabric panel, cats, it seems like it's got all of the winning factors, but no, nope, this one didn't, did not win at all. Uh, did you say, honestly, Ophelia says, did you, um, did you say you're not just selling jewelry anymore? Yeah, I, I'm having to look a bit more. If you caught my video from yesterday, um, I am going to have to do a little more as far as contributing to household expenses for reasons that will remain unnamed. You can fill in whatever blanks you want. But I have got, I've been de-stashing, so I may not be picking up a ton of stuff um, that it's like tchotchkes and things like that, unless I see something amazing. Um, but I am going to have to start looking at what I have instead of trying, because I've really been trying to gut everything and not just resell it. but it's like right now if I've got it it's going to get listed to sell because it's time to to step step up to the plate got to make got to make the money to pay the bills you know what I mean okay so there's this um next up the next item that sold that was on my dad's now this I listed for crazy for crazy money right I couldn't find anything like it it's a vintage Green glitter penguin keychain. Come on, it's a winner, right? I paid a quarter for it, and it ended up selling for eight bucks. So still, it was eight bucks for a plastic penguin keychain, which is not bad. But you know, if we're looking at the worst sale, so you know, again, about five dollar profit there. So, uh, and then hey, and if you have any um, questions in the chat, pop them in there, and I'm happy to answer them as I go. So. Happy New Year. Yes, onward and upward. I'm so ready for a new year. It can only get better, right? Pardon me. Caffeine time. Alrighty. So next up, another thing that I probably won't be selling, unless I have them in there and they have to be listed, are stamps. Now, if it's an amazing stamp, maybe, but this is just like a 
frame, curly Q frame stamp, right? Um, look, look, I, I took a picture of it. Oh, these are my blue jeans. <laughs> I must have been sitting there like in the chair like, oh, I guess I'll take pictures of this and list it, you know. So, yeah, that's my blue jeans. Hey, it works, right? It's a dark background. Um, so I paid 50 cents for it, and it sold for $7.99. So I'm just thinking, why did I do this? Why did I? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you live and learn, right? Okay, next up. Okay, so the next item that sold, uh, again, don't have a picture of it, but it was just a really thin metal um, gold, like gold tone um, bangle like cuff bracelet really thin um, paid a buck for it sold for $7.99 so not a huge profit and another thing that I don't have images of were these brown enamel chevron bracelets where a chevron is like kind of like Charlie Brown shirt you know it's like that zigzag sh shape so it was like a brown zigzag bangle that um, sold for $7.99 and I mean again it's if I'm looking at it like, okay, this came out of a jewelry jar, the jar cost 25 bucks, I sold this, made a $5 profit on it, then it looks like a lot better than, oh, it's only made me five bucks, you know. So, and, and then another thing to consider is that, well, but, you know, this, that, and the other thing may have only made, you know, five bucks here, five bucks there. Well, at, after 25, five bucks, you, you've got a little bit of money there. So, so yeah, just... <laughs> Keep it in perspective. These are just my lowest sales of the year. Mm, we'll see. There are definitely things here I won't be listing or buying again. And this is not what I... Where's the other one? Oh, here it is. I didn't put them in order. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Some of these... I bought these at an auction. And these are um, Boson. I'm not sure I'm saying that right. But they're chalkware. Oh, my gosh. Chalkware makes me want to rip my hair out. Okay. Have you, if you have dealt with chalkware before... So it looks really cool. It looks like maybe it's a ceramic. No, no. It's like chalk and it's like carved and painted. And if you like bump it, I feel like I'm saying like a lot, but if you like bump it or it like knocks into something, then you've got a scuff mark and you that white chalk is showing from underneath. So it was just like, one, I had to lay them in these big flat thing, like boxes um, in, in my workroom. And they were super hard to store. Like I couldn't set anything on top of the boxes and I couldn't if I had to shift the box I'm like uh, you know because they, they might bump into each other while they're uh, uh, yeah so <laughs> obviously these things really stressed me out so this um this ended up selling not for this price because I had them on eBay it sold on eBay it ended up selling for seven dollars and ninety nine cents but I was so happy for it to just be gone and again these are this the price I, I charge shipping on top of it so yeah. Anywho, I won't be selling chalkware anymore because I just don't have the nerve for it. I'm not a delicate, I'm not as delicate with my items as I probably ought to be, you know. Anyway, moving forward, yeah. Um, another thing that sold, the next two things that sold were items that, uh, again, I don't have images for. Um, one of them were these, like, cosmetic bags. They were red and they had these hearts on them. Um, Picked them up for 50 cents and they sold for $7.99. And then a, it was like a plush, a plush is something else that I'm not really going to be selling or picking up any more of. Um, it was like a little ballerina teddy bear that I sold. Again, picked it up for 50 cents and it sold for $7.99. So again, the profit's still about five bucks. And I know like, okay, I made my money back and everything, but yeah. <laughs> All right, looking in the, let me look in the chat real quick. So those were two other items. Let me pop the chat back up. Let's see. Hey, Thelma's there. Hi. Um, I think you could sell cards and such and lots for a larger profit margin. Oh, yeah. Same with all these things. Oh, for sure. It's fun finding all the unique items just like, oh, yes. Thank you, Sheila. It's true. Um, Graham says, it's always important to try new directions in order to expand our knowledge. Definitely. No real failures, just not meeting your expectations. Thank you. Yes, this is true. And again, you know, like I take take it with a grain of salt because I'm so happy for any any income that, that these things bring in. But it's just like, okay, I've never sold chalkware before, so now I know, right? <laughs> I don't really like selling chalkware. Uh, uh, there are some things here that I have enjoyed selling, and I'll probably still continue to pick up, honestly, even if they're not bringing in huge, huge profits. 
Okay, so again with the children's, uh, vintage children's books, I picked this up for a quarter. It sold for $7.99. Hello, hello, happy new year. So just, I mean, if you are, it depends on your perspective, right? I could just look at this and just like, oh, never again. Or just say, okay, I've learned this is something that didn't sell this year, five bucks. Okay, that's cool. Um, okay. Some things just tell I can't, yes, it's true, yes. Um, and you need to make at least 15 bucks, yeah. And, and that's kind of where I was. I was at the point where I wanted to make at least $5 or more per item, which of course still do, but now I'm getting to the point where I want to make a little bit more per item, you know, and it doesn't always happen, and that's okay. <laughs> it, he, sometimes I'm just like, I can't stand looking at this anymore. It's got to go put it on sale or something, you know. So <clears throat> I have a couple other things. So I'm going in order. I'm looking at a spreadsheet you can't see. But um, so two other things sold that I don't have the images for. Um, one was a pair of earrings. They were like these metal discs that had like scroll work on them. Uh, it came out of a jewelry jar. They sold for $7.99. And then that, I'm still so proud of this sale. It's like one of those that it maybe didn't sell for a lot, but I'm super proud that it sold. It was one that came from a jewelry jar and I was challenging myself to sell it, right? It was just this plastic stretchy bracelet. It was red, white, and blue, like plastic beads. And then it had like this little metal um, United States flag on it. So red, white, and blue United States stretchy bracelet. And it sold for $7.99. So while it didn't bring a huge profit, it still made me five bucks for this like plastic bracelet. So I was happy for that, um, definitely. Oh, thanks, Graham. Yeah, 77 watchers, but only 13 likes. Yes, hit the like button. Thank you. Thanks for 77 viewers, everybody. Thanks for coming to hang out. Okay, now, where are we? Did I say? Yep. Yeah. Okay, I talked about that one. So then this, this I'm a shell bad guy. Again, I like to list things for crazy money, so I did. It didn't sell, and I finally took a best offer on, this is an eBay offer, um, for seven bucks. So I paid 50 cents. So I, the reason I put such a high price on it was I was like, well, it's oil and gas, and I've never seen anything, and it's milk glass. It may have even been, oh, it's hawking. Okay, so it was, you know, a certain kind of brand, like, of milk glass, anchor hawking. And so I thought, oh, okay, I'm going to put a big price on it. Nope. But you never know. There you go. So this, yeah, sold for $7. Yikes, right? Uh, all right, next up, let's see what we've got next. These earrings sold. Again, this was, if you see the price here, disregard that. Some of the items sold on eBay, but after 90 days, you know, it rolls off. So I had them in my inactive listings on Etsy. So that's where I pulled it up from. So these were round world map earrings. I paid 50 cents for them and they sold for seven bucks. So, hmm. I mean, they're easy to list, easy to ship. I, that's the thing I love about jewelry is for the most part, it's easy to list, easy and easy to ship. If it's super sparkly, shiny, oh my gosh. Yeah, anyway. So next, um, this is not my listing, but I sold a, a puzzle like this one. Uh, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. I pick it up for I picked it up for a dollar and it sold for six ninety nine on eBay. So now you see we're really getting into those like below five dollar profit items. Um, and I got it when I was at the green room meetup like two years ago or three years ago. I bought like all of these Pokemon games and puzzles at a garage sale for a really good price for the lot of it. And so just slowly getting where I was selling everything off. So. Anyway, next up, um, so yeah, these, I, I sold, I picked up these um, papyrus greeting cards, and while the profits are not amazing, they're so, they were so easy to list and ship, so, and I picked them all up for super cheap, like a quarter a piece, or maybe even a quarter for a few of them, but this one sold for $6.88, and there's another one of the same one that sold as well. Uh, and then this junk drawer lot, again, this is one of those that's like, maybe it didn't make that much money, but it sold, right? Um, and it, again, this one also sold on eBay. This was a junk drawer lot, was, which was basically just like 
bits of leftover from jewelry jars. So there were broken bits, there were plastic bits, there was just a, a little bit of this and that, right? That I was just gonna honestly throw in a bag and redonate. But I thought, well, let's let's have fun taking some pictures, and that's what I did. And it sold. <laughs> it sold for six dollars and seventy five cents. So <laughs> probably for the time and effort I put into this, no, not worth it. <laughs> not at all. So oh well, you live and learn. I had fun taking the pictures though. That's that's got to be part of it. Um, honestly, Ophelia, what category do you think you'll continue to pick up in, in the new year? Definitely collectibles. So jewelry is still my number one. And then from there, collectibles. I have my best sales that are, are going to be coming up. Um, I may do it tomorrow, my best sales of 2017. And that's one of the biggies is uh, collectibles and things like that. Yeah. Graham says, what would, advice would you give jewelry newbie to start their adventure with? When, well, I started with men's accessories because it was something that was easy, one, easy for me to find and pick up for cheap because most of the time people don't even look at the men's stuff. And a lot of times you'll find gold and silver and things with the men's stuff. Because again, people selling it like at garage sales don't even look at it. That was one of my very first when I very, very first got started, I picked up a pair of, it was a cufflink and tie bar um, that were gold and jade that I got for four bucks. The family was just like, just get rid of this stuff, you know? Yeah. So that was, that's what I started with and just kind of expanded out from there. Okay, so next up is another vintage children's book. This is Bob's Bushtail Adventure. Paid 74 cents because I bought a lot and it kind of averaged out and it sold for six fifty. So again, not so good. Um, <laughs> I have so much stuff in my house. I'm going to do lots. Keep it twenty dollars or higher. Oh yeah, oh yeah. D stash, and and I have been doing pretty well with my D stash boxes. Honestly, some of them did better than others, but now I'm like, oh, <laughs> I need to sell my stuff. <laughs> That's okay. All right. So then next up. I, again, I thought this was going to be a winner. It's a brand, um, Boyd's Bears, which is somewhat popular brand. Maybe it depends on what it is. Um, I paid a quarter for it. It's got a cat. It's got pumpkins. Come on, it's got it all, right? No. It's sold for $6.33 on eBay. It's sold. <laughs> we'll just go with that. It's sold. So there's that. Okay, next up we have another card. These are my lowest sellers. Again, this is one of those papyrus cards that I picked up for a quarter. It ended up selling for six twenty-five. dollars So like, okay, not so bad because I picked it up for a quarter and it was real easy to list and ship and everything. I mean, it's one thing. I guess, too, you have to look at it like if I'm making a 4 or $5 profit on an item like this, that's like, Take a picture of the front, take a picture of the back, and then you're done. Or I'm making a four and five dollar profit on a jewelry junk lot that I'm having to like sit there and place it all and take all, you know what I mean? Just like the effort that went into it, right? Or the chalkware, the effort and like the mental capacity it took me not to like destroy these things. <laughs> so yeah, it's a little different. So again, and another of these pumpkin ones sold, same deal, picked it up for a quarter and sold for $6.25. And then again, we're now down to the last two. This item, was it's a sticker. So again, super easy to, to list and ship and everything. And it came in, I, I'm a fan of Firefly, if you don't know what that is. It's a, it was a TV show by Joss Whedon. They made a movie called Serenity. It's like Cowboys in Space, whatever. Um, I don't have any of my stuff in here because I moved my, my stuff. Um, but anyway, it was just a sticker. So I thought, well, I'm never going to really use this sticker from the loot crate. It came in like a loot crate. So... It averaged out, though, when I averaged out the crate, it ended up averaging out to be about a $2 sticker, which is kind of pricey. Um, and it sold for $5.99, so gosh, my profit on this would be like a dollar or something. I don't know. Something horrible. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, yeah. And then finally, I know it says $9.99 here, but that's not right. Um this, these sold, these were little tiny like gift cards of these little children. Um, these were something that my grandmother had 
And I took, I mean, I've had the picture. I haven't I've had them up forever, forever. And ended up taking an offer of $5 on them. So while they sold, this was my lowest sale. Oh, it's not in, in there all the way. There you go. My lowest profit item were these little miniature like gift card things. So, yeah. <laughs> Angela says, I cringe at the idea of creating 13 tags on Etsy for most items. <laughs> yeah, I do my Etsy listings first because, yeah, then I can just copy and paste over onto eBay. It gets easier. Yeah, it gets easier. <laughs> okay, so those are my 25 plus worst sales of 2017. So going forward, things I probably won't be picking up are children's vintage children's books. I'm going to take a second look at some of these fabric panels. Some of them have done really well for me, but um, yeah, fabric panels I might be taking a second look at because some of my fabric is still sitting in there that hasn't sold. Um, so yeah, there's that. So yeah, I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you are watching this later or you're watching this now, leave a comment letting us know what is your worst dud of the year? What is something that you will not pick up again because it didn't make any money or it sat there, it was such a headache and there's no way you're gonna take another chance on one of these items. I'd love, love, love to hear from you and I appreciate you guys all watching. Go over there and hit that thumbs up button and I'll be back with my best sales of 2017 what's tomorrow probably tomorrow what's tomorrow tuesday tuesday yeah tomorrow okay thanks so much for watching you guys and i appreciate you coming i lost the thing again every time i have too many windows open but that's okay i'll just talk to you i'll talk to me we'll just talk here goes okay have a great day guys bye